Marshall again, here for part two of mixing some heavy guitars, all that good stuff. And like I had said before, I was just going to go ahead and do all the, the good stuff in here. So as you can see, I, I already did a little bit of the, all the fades on that part. Here's a refresher in case you've forgotten what it sounds like, but if that's the case, then yeah, it's not a big deal. So here it goes. <laughs> of course. So, uh, what I was talking about before is uh, going into a little bit of levels, some EQ, and actually starting the whole shebang. So, uh, in order to get my point across, here's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Go ahead, and um, if you wanted to follow along in it, is I just hit F5 to get to the mixer. So here we are, I have all four guitar, one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna go ahead and solo out just the guitars. And actually I'm gonna, just to give you a little, little insight here, these two, guitar one and two, are the heavier, heavier guys, so. So just those and the other two, three and four, are a little bit higher just to get a, a get a little more fullness and you you'll hear what I'm talking about here in a second so just getting a little bit more chord, chordal etc so first thing I normally do when I when I do a little bit of mixing is I don't always solo but like I said just to get my point across I'll go to the beginning and start, I'll start listening to it and just to hear how the changes I've made actually affect it. So first thing I'll do is try to get levels in relation to each other and basically your your basic panning. So what I what I tend to do, what I've leaned towards, I've changed it up around, but I will do a hard left, hard right for the heaviest ones just to get a very broad stereo spectrum. So here we go. Here's that left and right. You can hear it if you're listening to it in earbuds. So here we go. And it gets really, really uh, prominent when we get into the, that, that heavier stuff with just the full-on chugga-chugga. So that that works out for me anyway. Now, what I'll do with uh, the higher guitars, it depends on what I want to do. Remember, you're in a stereo spectrum when, when listening. I always like to have a good space right in the middle for vocals or lead guitar or what, what have you, but it all depends on, on the song because you're mixing for the song, you're not mixing for everything else or what anyone tells you this is this is not by any means law this is just this is just a way to do things if you're just starting starting mixing and stuff it's it's sometimes uh, good to adhere to a couple things that you end up doing all the time and this just happens to be one that I do I'm still learning I I don't know everything I, I can tell you that I really do not know everything so um here we go with with the melody guitars. When I say that, I mean the the chordal guitars. I'll just solo those two out. I don't do hard left and right on those, just to give it a little more space. I uh, will either go right there at you know maybe uh, uh, nine o'clock and three o'clock, or in this case, I'll kick. Okay, hit it at negative plus or minus 47 and it seems to work out okay it all depends like I said you might need more more panning left and right just uh, just if you need more stuff in the middle but here here's the way this sounds 
and with all the guitars together, it kind of kind of fills it out. And uh, for the the chordal part, I think that's where it was. Now, another thing I will like to do, I like to do is roll out those full chordals just a little bit because sometimes they get a little too overpowering. So let's uh, see what happens and see how it sounds right about, right about yay. That sounds good. So. It's, it's not, seems to sound pretty decent. Now, when I introduce bass, depending on what kind of bass it is, uh, synth bass, different story, but normally if it's a stereo track, I like to turn that nifty little width knob all the way down. When that happens, it, it kind of hones it in and again, puts it in that spectrum right up the middle. You're talking about maybe you want you know, it depends on how you want it. Want the kick to be the lowest, or if you want the bass to be the lowest frequency or lowest uh, instrument in the frequency spectrum. So here's this. Again, I'm not doing levels yet. Uh, I was going to go into compression a little bit at, at next, but everything together. Um, let's see here. Actually, uh, what I wanted to do is go into a group and get these. Now that I have the levels and the, the pans set, it sounds pretty good. So what I'll do in the next video is go through grouping instrument tracks, and uh, it just makes things a heck of a lot easier. It's kind of like busing. But anyway, hope you all liked the tutorial. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Other than that, you all have a good day and enjoy.